It's Eastern and Anycubic has once again published a little contest in which I would like to participate. The rules are simple. Anycubic provides us with four STL files for four different Easter eggs and you just have to print one, paint and upload it. But to me that seems a little bit boring. So I thought about what's the most expensive and unnecessary egg on earth and the answer was clearly Fabergé eggs. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, a Fabergé egg is a decorative egg made out of really expensive materials, fitted with gemstones and often containing something that literally just sits on your shelf and looks pretty. Or in short, it's the perfect candidate for this competition. So I had a look at the SCL files NQB gave us and I liked egg number two the best. So here we have egg number two. I really like this pattern. I thought about painting this sword thief like pattern here in golden. The space in between, so this in blue and this little snake here in silver. I also want to paint this rectangulars in silver. Here these areas in blue these rectangles here uh, on the sides in green and here in gold again but i think i add to the green and gold here glitter and on the inside um, i thought about making it completely silver silver glitter but now i was left with the question what to put inside and since this is a 3d printing contest i wanted to make it 3d printed related and which model stands more for 3d printing than banshee the boat i also found this cool looking wave model by nexnox on thingiverse that i want to include next i had to prepare the 3d prints for that i hollowed out the egg model with a wall thickness of two millimeters and sliced it in half I also did a bit of remodeling on the wave model so that it fits into the egg. And now it's ready to print. So got them fresh 3D printed and washed. Here a little wave print on the Anycubic Photon Zero. And I really like the color. It's Anycubic Aqua Blue, so looks looks awesome. And here printed on the Anycubic Photon Mono. Um, in regular gray resin you know I use that for painting stuff and looks awesome um, now they are washed so I remove the support and then cure them so the supports came off really easy now let's have a look the two sides fit together almost perfect. A bit of sanding to remove the gap, but yeah, now let's have a look how this fits inside here. Oh yeah, that's, that's right, it should, sits inside here like that. And you can see it adapts the shape of the inside of the egg. Uh, really nice, so let's close it and then you can open it like that and inside is the little banshee. Talking about the banshee, I have to measure this base here to scale the banshee. So let's measure that real quick. From here to here it's here, 19 point five two millimeters right i print banshee in the dimensions and they go into the washing cue machine 2.0 so all the prints are ready now the resin prints are cured and banshee is done i printed it on my predator in 0.2 millimeters layer height and let's have a look how it fits and as you can see it fits in here perfect so let's paint it I'm not even close yet so painting on this gold paint looks already awesome but since now I have to do this 
half as well. And it's so detailed. This is going to take forever. So while that is drying, I start glittering the wave. For that I got two glitters, but I think I'm going with this one right here because it fits the um, color of the aqua blue resin a bit more. So gonna cover it in glue and then put a glitter on. So while this is drying, I'm I am going to continue painting these. The little banshee is now completely golden and the wave looks awesome. And together it looks even better, I think. But I don't need that for the moment. Um, now I have to paint a color of glitter um, the egg with silver, silver all around the little pattern um, squares here. Uh, so let's go. So now all the paints are dry and I can put on the glitter on this little golden rectangulars around here. So the gold glitter is now dry and now I can start to put on the glitter in this little cross areas so the green glitter is now dry and it looks so good now I have to paint the area here um, the cut area where the eye was cut and then glitter the inside. So now the halves are finished. I put a little magnet in here and a little washer in here to keep it shut. See? Um, I hide it on a little bit of glitter and now I have to drill a little hole into the bottom so that I can fit through this little stamp to hold the wave and for the stem and the hinge I simply took a bit of Lego, spray painted it golden and um, yeah, so let's go. And it's finally done. I think it looks awesome. This little base is also an STL file Anycubic included. I printed it on the Anycubic Photon Mono in grey resin and spray painted it golden. And here we have it. My Fabergé egg. I think the combination of the green and gold glitter and the silver and the blue here looks awesome. Yeah. And when you when you open it inside there you can see yeah there is the little banshee look at that
It really turned out way better than I expected. I mean, look at how pretty it is. If you think so too, feel free to like, share and subscribe. Here more videos, here you'll find my channel. So have a nice day and see you soon.